Let's go through a couple of geometry problems. No trigonometry allowed. These were sent to me last week, so thanks very much for sending these in. When I say no trigonometry, basically I mean no sine rule, cosine rule, things like that. We're going to be solving these using basic plane geometry. Okay, so this first question gives us a right triangle. And then in the corner, there's an isosceles triangle. We're looking for this blue shaded region. All they tell us is this angle is 45 degrees. This length is three and this length is six. A reminder to pause the video now if you want to give this problem a go yourself. To solve this, we're going to go on a bit of an angular journey, looking at the angles throughout this diagram. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to label this angle theta. Then this angle up here is 90 take theta. This angle in here, Let's work it out. It's going to be 180, the angle's on a straight line, subtract 45, subtract 90, take theta. What's this? Well, this is 180, take 90 is 90, take 45 is 45, then subtract negative theta is positive theta. So this angle in here is 45 plus theta. And because this is an isosceles triangle, this angle will also be 45 plus theta. Going to pause there on the angle hunt for a minute going to look at this area. Well, we can work out the hypotenuse. We'll do that in a minute. Um, but to find the area, we would like to know the perpendicular height. So we can draw a line perpendicular to the base here, joining up to this angle. Then what we've created is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Okay, so this angle here in here is 45. Let's find this angle. That's going to be 180 take 45 take 45 plus theta. So this is 180 take 90, that's 90 um, subtract theta. Okay, so this angle in here is 90 take theta. That means this angle over here must be theta. So I did all of that to find that this larger angle is bisected uh, by this line. Uh, there might be an easier way to show that, at least that's how I did it. Okay, so now these two right triangles are similar. And I'm going to go ahead and find the hypotenuse now. So using Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c squared is going to be 3 squared plus 6 squared. 36 plus 9 is 45. So c is equal to the square root of 45 or the square root of 9 times the square root of 5 or 3 root 5. Okay, so that's the length of that hypotenuse. Um, let's just write that down there. That's that length. And now let's have a look at this blue triangle, um, focusing on this right triangle that's similar to this larger one. Well, these sides are in the ratio one to two, three to six is the same as ratio one to two. So these lengths must be in the ratio one to two these two lengths are equal. In any 45, 45, 90 triangle, the two legs are equal. Um, so let's get rid of this for a second. So if, if, excuse me, if these two legs are in the ratio one to two, then these two legs must be in the ratio one to two. We know the entire length is three root five. So this part of that length must be one lot of root five. This length here, must be two lots of root five. Okay, why did I do that? Well, that means that if these two legs are equal, this length in here, let's get rid of some of this, this length in here must also be root five. Okay, now we have that perpendicular height, we have the base, we can work out the area. The area is going to be the base, three root five multiplied by the height divided by two. So three root five times root five is 15. It's going to be uh, 15 on two or 7.5. There we go, that's the area of that blue triangle. Moving on to the next problem then. Again, we're looking for a blue shaded area. This one's a little bit harder than the last one. Um, I started this problem by working on a special case. I began by assuming this triangle was an isosceles triangle. It didn't really help me to prove the general case though, so I'll talk a bit more about that at the end. So let's go ahead and see if we can prove or find this area in general for any triangle with these properties. So all we're told is this angle is 30 degrees, this little angle in, angle in here is 15 degrees, and this 
line has a length of 2, these two lines, uh, the length of those two lines are equal. Again, if you want to give this problem a go, pause the video now. Okay, where to start? You can really start anywhere. I began by labeling this angle theta. And actually, let's give these points uh, labels as well. Say A, B, C, D, and E. So angle A, B, E, A, B, C, sorry. Let's say, let's call that theta. Then, therefore, angle A, C, B equals 150 take theta. The sum of these two angles must add up to 150. Then angle DCE is this one in here. That's going to be 180 take 15 take 150 take theta. Okay, what's this? Well, this is 180 take 150 is 30, take 15 is 15. Subtract negative theta is plus theta. When I was trying to work this out, at this point, I still didn't have a general strategy on how to solve it, uh, but I found this interesting. So what I did next was to split this angle into 15 degrees and theta degrees, uh, because why not? So I'm going to call this angle in here 15, and this angle is theta. Okay, oops, and what next? Well, often in geometric problems, where you're told two lengths are the same, it's often a good strategy to try to relate them somehow. So, you know, get them close together or draw some construction that relates those two lengths, um, maybe in the same shape or in the tr same triangle somehow. So what I tried next was to extend this line CB. So straight out this way and because these two lines are straight, these angles are vertically opposite, therefore this angle is theta. So now what I could do is I could create a, a congruent triangle to this triangle in here. Let's label this point M, CME, because um, this angle is theta and it's adjacent to the same length. I could construct a congruent triangle over here, but from there I'm not sure how to proceed. Uh, so the next thing I tried, still with no clear idea of, uh, of a strategy, I tried constructing a 90 degree angle here because right triangles have really nice properties um, and often it's really useful to use right triangles in solving areas. So I created a right triangle here. It has an angle of 15, a hypotenuse of 2 and well, this triangle doesn't seem to have anything to do with this triangle CME, but if I draw a line perpendicular to CM, so this is 90 degrees, then these two triangles are congruent. And now we're kind of trying to play a game of tangrams. Do you remember that tangram game where you had all the pieces and you tried to make shapes out of them? That's what we're sort of trying to do here. We're playing a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. And the strategy now is rather than looking for these perpendicular heights, is to try to rearrange these pieces into a shape that I can easily find the area of. And I'm already, I have already taken this part and created a nice right triangle. I don't know the height of this right triangle, but I do know the, do know the hypotenuse and one angle in that right triangle. Okay. Next, this is the hardest step that I found. Um, and I'm not sure how to suggest seeing how to do this other than through pure experimentation and messing around. What I tried next was to extend this line, CM, and construct another right triangle. Okay, so again, this is a right triangle, angle 15, hypotenuse 2. And actually, it must be congruent to the other right triangle, let's label this point X. So, and actually let's label this one Y. So CYD must be congruent to CXD. This is the angle, angle, side rule of congruence. Two angles and a side, the same, therefore the, um, the triangles are the same. Uh, they are congruent. So now I know that they're congruent. Is there anything I can say about this right triangle in here? Is there anything helpful I can say about that right triangle? Uh, this little one. 
dmy. Well, I know this length must be the same as xd, dy must be the same as xd, again, they're congruent triangles, all of the legs are the same length. These two angles are vertically opposite, therefore they're equal, and what else? Well, what is this leg in relation to this triangle over here? This leg, xd, relates to this leg. So these three lengths are the same. Uh, this was a 90 degree angle. This was the most surprising part of this problem for me, finding that these two right triangles are also congruent. Again, using that uh, angle, angle, side rule of congruence. So again, we've played the jigsaw game where we have taken this right triangle and shifted it over here. I was really surprised by this. I am still not sure I 100% I understand uh, this problem. It also means, by the way, if you notice that this line must bisect DE. And again, I, I feel like there's a deeper reason behind that, but I'm not sure what it is. So anyways, we've rearranged the jigsaw puzzle. We've taken these two pieces and created two congruent right triangles and those two congruent right triangles contain the area, the original blue area. We've just shifted around the pieces. So then to find the blue area, let's uh, draw another uh, diagram over here. So here I'm going to draw one of the right triangles with the hypotenuse as the base. So this is a 90 degree angle. Then I'm going to stack the other right triangle on top of it such that the two identical legs are together. So this length is two. Both of them had angles of 15 degrees, which means this total angle is 30 degrees. And then let's drop uh, a line perpendicular to the base. So that will be the perpendicular height of this larger triangle. And lastly, we notice this is the hypotenuse, so this has a length of two. Here we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle with a hypotenuse of two. That means this leg must have a length of one. See my video on exact values for more detail on that. Then we have a base of two, perpendicular height of one. We have enough to find the area. That's going to be base times height divided by two, which is two divided by two, which is one. So that blue area has an area of one unit squared, whatever the units are. Pretty nice, right? Let me know what you thought of those problems. Please leave a like if you appreciate this video. Subscribe if you want to see more content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.